Zorin OS, a popular Linux distribution from Ireland, I believe, and uh, very popular for a couple of years where they've really made uh, Ubuntu really easy and quick and simple to use out of the box. Um, you'll see now that uh, it's now on Zorin 16.3, which has got the same kernel version as Ubuntu 22.04 so not as old as uh, is believed at least if you use the 16.3 version so important to know that Zorn OS comes in a pro edition which has uh, premium desktop layouts, advanced productivity software includes a pro light edition for older PCs then there is a core edition and a light edition so the light edition free is as you guessed it for really old hardware and the core edition is the for basic use on modern computers and there's a whole list here comparing them between each other so basically what i've gone ahead and done is i've gone ahead and downloaded the core edition which we're going to take a look at uh, today and try it on stores or in os Okay, that was loud. Uh, install Zorin. So I'll install it quickly. We won't participate in the census. Erase the disk. Continue. Place fine. I'll continue and let it install. And I'll be back once it's completed this portion. Okay, finally, uh, installation is completed. So let's go restart now. Okay, let's log in. And that seems fitting. Choose your desktop look with Zorin appearance. A theme. I'm going to make it a dark theme. Desktop, fine. Layout, fine. Close that. Uh, virtual machine, yes. It might be slower. We're not going to connect online accounts. We're not going to connect it to my phone. Uh, there's a software store. And close that. Okay, so first thing is display settings. It's fixes resolution. And here you can see it's using, this is definitely GNOME settings. Uh, Zorin 16.3 X11 running on KVM. Okay, let's close that. Uh, details of updates. I'm not going to apply these updates now, but there are updates uh, available. Okay, so here's the menu. And of course, we have home, which uses uh, files as the file manager. And of course, we can just browse to the different locations as per normal. Uh, we have software which is, uh, I take it software center, yeah, GNOME software, uh, update preferences are here. So if someone wants to do something like Brave. Uh, oh, wow, okay, so this has Snap still out of the box. So pure Ubuntu here, yeah, so you can use uh, the Snaps if you want. Uh, that's an interesting choice. Uh, updates, uh, canonical, right, getting sources from canonical, authentication, and so it uses combo of Soren repos and canonicals. So let's close that. Uh, we've already looked at the appearance center where we can change the theme, we can change the interface. Jelly mode, which I assume 
was just to make it a little bit more uh, graphically better and of course the Zorn taskbar so this definitely looks like they've taken GNOME and really uh, added extensions onto on top of it okay so let's look at accessories we have to do we have maps we have files so okay new to do list okay I'm gonna close that up um, text edit I'm sure it's G edit yeah this is G edit definitely still version 3.336 so even though it's running a newer kernel some of the software packages on this are starting to get a little dated whether okay, games sudoku uh, fit footing blocks my own graphics libreoffice draw We just did okay with the tabbed menu preset that's fine and yeah using a newer version of LibreOffice 7.5.52 not too bad uh, and of course office the rest of it is still LibreOffice sign and video rhythm box sound recorder bros zero and videos system tools main menu uh, okay, that's to configure the, the menu. The tour, which we've already done, we just app support. Okay, so if I enable that, it'll enable wine. So I'm just actually going to do that. Uh, and it installs Play on Linux. Okay, fine. Then uh, we've got upgrade uh, Zorn OS. Okay, I assume that's between the distributions, not if you want to go from free to paid, by the looks of things. Uh, tours, fine. Utilities. System monitor. Resources, 1.5 gigs of memory. Kind of normal for GNOME. And only used about 10.3 gigs on the file system there. Okay, so let's open up a terminal. Okay, I'm just gonna cancel that there. And first thing I want to do is to name this A. And it is using kernel 5.515, so it's an LTS kernel. So this is basically what they've done is and you can see it's got a point to 20.04 so it looks like they based this initially on ubuntu 20.04 lts but they've for the 16.3 what they've done is they've gone ahead and upgraded the kernel to 22.04's kernel essentially it's what they've gone ahead and done here so that's why some of the gnome apps are definitely starting to uh, show their age like GNOME 3.36 GNOME is known 44 well, at least in the 40 range for newer LTS uh, OS's so hope to really see a newer edition of Zorn come out pretty soon at uh, this rate so who's this for well you know if you want a more easier to use Ubuntu out of the box uh, that has a more customized GNOME interface to it as uh, Zorin is for you I would suggest waiting off until a newer version of comes out for the additional apps even if it is using a new kernel uh, I think right now there's quite a lot of other distros that are more up to date that are really even more usable if you really want to keep using uh, Ubuntu as a base Having said that though, if you're using uh, the Snap Store, you can install and get your new apps, but uh, that is completely and utterly up to you. I really, um, uh, there's nothing really too much to recommend right now, which is a pity. Back in the day, many years ago, Zorn OS was one of my f absolute favorites, 
but yeah, it doesn't seem like there's really too much customization right now, um, at least for this version, but we'll see what the next version comes out. As always, thanks for watching, goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.